Welcome back to Destination Now. Today, instead of Travel Tuesday, we're going to do a product review. The folks over at Go Kilowatt sent us this beautiful 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery to test out and review. This battery can be used in a house, RV, or boat. We originally were going to do the review for you in our travel trailer to power the lights, but that's not quite ready for battery installation, so Luckily, we can take this over to our boat and see how it does with our trolling motor. Join us today to see our honest review on this product. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. So this is how our battery has arrived. We're going to unbox that for you right now. It's got, um, comes with a little terminal separate and it's packaged really nice and tight here in this box. It's a nice foam to protect it. So we gotta make it out of here. Comes in this nice foam casing. just like that and it looks like we've got some safety plastic covers here our terminals so we'll pop those off and then these just screw right in and then we've got a nice display right here so 49% charge. So we'll get this baby charged up and then we'll take it for a test run. So this battery here is from a company called Go KWH. I'm going to refer to it as Go Kilowatt. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, but they sent us this lovely battery to test out and review on our channel. It's a smart battery, which is awesome. It's got a nice LCD built in so you can check the status of your battery at any time, which is going to be great because we are going to test this out and our little 14 foot Boston Whaler out on the water. So we don't wanna get out into the middle of the ocean and find out our battery doesn't work or is low. So this is amazing. You can see, just turn it on. It'll tell you the status, but it's nice. You can tell if your battery is gonna overheat. It's got a temperature gauge, tells you the voltage and the amps. And uh, we'll run through that a little bit later in the video. But for now, uh, we'll just go over the basic specs. This is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium ion battery, which is great because the lithium ion batteries have four times the cycle life as a regular lithium battery. So this should be last longer. It should be a little bit safer. It has a built-in BMS system to ensure safe operation. They're claiming we get about 4,000 cycle lives out of this battery over the 10 year lifespan they're claiming it has. Um, it's lightweight. It actually is really lightweight. I can pick it up. Our other batteries, I can't barely get off the ground. So this one is really lightweight. Um, it's, it's not too compact. The claim is compact. It's about the same as a normal battery. Um, but it is IP65 waterproof, which is great because we're throwing this in a boat. And like I said earlier, it's suitable for a home, RV, boat, whatever your needs are. Our big old go kilowatt hour lithium lipo 4 battery just arrived and so we're charging it up i've got my norco genius 10 uh charger charging it up you got to use a lithium charger for these things if you try to charge it with a um, lead acid charger or agm charger you'll actually burn out the lithium cells it needs a different charging curve than the other batteries so um, we're charging it up and then we're going to hook it up to the trolling motor, see how far that thing goes. I know we can go pretty far on a group 31 battery, lead acid with the trolling motor, but I want to see what this little lithium battery can do. I mean, it's slightly larger than a group 31. This is a group 31 right here. So this is just ever so slightly larger. I think it's going to do great. I think we'll be able to go as far as we want and probably a lot further. 
with just a trolling motor. That'd be nice. Once it's all charged up, we'll put it in the boat and go for a ride. See what happens. We're currently fully charged at 100%. Let's toss this baby in our boat and see how well she does. So we're on a boating adventure today. Um, get this new lithium battery and we hooked it up to the trolling motor we're gonna see how far can we go on a lithium battery with a trolling motor is it moving <laughs> i can't hear it <laughs> full, put it full blast that is full blast there's a little bit of a current today <laughs> it's working <laughs> that's a good sign all right so we're trolling there's a gauge on the screen on the battery. There's a little screen on the battery that tells you the percentage and the voltage and the amps, everything. Kind of see everything. Can you push the power button there. for me? Okay, so we're at 99%. It's 130 volts. 40, 30 amps. That's current. The temperature is 182 Celsius. Celsius? Or 18.2. That's gotta be 18.2. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. They've been melting yeah. down oh right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're definitely melting. A trolling motor is a small electric motor, usually with a maximum speed of five miles per hour. We enjoy using ours on nice slow days to avoid the smell and sound of the outboard motor. Today, we're really pushing the limits of our trolling motor. Our boat is loaded down with four adults two iron patio chairs, and our dog, Trixie. We're headed about two miles offshore to a small sandbar we like to frequent at low tide. Wow, 67%. Well, we sure used a lot of it, but we came a long ways. Yeah. And really, like, that's not bad. We can make it all the way home. Not bad. How far do you normally get on the other battery? Oh, like... I don't know, half that distance probably. We swap it out every day? Yeah, yeah, I swap that battery out every day that I go out. But we don't this use is... it the whole time, we use it half the time. No, but this is really good. And it's like half the, or it's probably a quarter the weight. So like when I, when I pull the lead acid batteries out of there, they're really heavy, you know, it's a lot of work to take it out of the boat and you can imagine the boat's rocking and everything. This thing's like a light, like a feather, so. It's nice and easy. No. I like the display because now we know how much battery we have to get back if we need to. We'll use the gas motor, but really neat battery. Is there anything that you don't like about it? No, no, I like it. The price was right. So this battery's on sale. If you uh, go down to the description below, you know, there's, there's a code that you can use to uh, get a discount on this battery. And then, I think it's a good idea. For the next two Whatever months. you need. It's a good battery. Worked for us so far. As I mentioned earlier, this is a smart battery. It has a QR code you can scan to download an app for easy viewing of the battery's stats and usage right from your phone. It looks very similar to the app we use for our Victron system to monitor our Battleborn batteries in our camper. I couldn't get the second QR code to scan, so I'm unable to show you what that one offers. This is a really nice feature if your battery compartment is hard to get to and also super convenient for regular monitoring in general. Now, I would say so far, seems high quality. The only downside is it took about four weeks for us to get this battery, receive the battery after they contacted us. And I'm not sure if that's the holiday season or customs because it did come from China or if that's just their standard shipping time, but it's well worth it. They did give us an exclusive code for all of our viewers to have a discount. So check that out below. These usually cost $409, but are currently on sale for $329. And with our coupon code, your cost is only $269, which is a great deal. They're only offering this discount code for the next two months. So if you're interested, don't wait to check out GoKilowatt. Link in the description below. Where will your GoKilowatt take you? Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. 
and comment in the comments below whether or not you enjoyed these product reviews or if you have a product that you might like us to review for you. And as always, we'll see you next Tuesday on another adventure.